Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, my name's Sunny and I'm a gap year student on my way to study medicine at Kent and Medway Medical School in September. It's actually been a minute since I've picked up this camera. The last time I recorded a video was like beginning of June. Since then, I've been traveling and just enjoying summer. You should follow me on my Instagram and you can also check out my TikTok where I post educational videos, medical content, as well as um, advice on what to do with your GCSEs and A-levels and just study tips, things like that. So definitely go check out those videos. Today is going to be a short video. So far on my channel, I've made a lot of videos about the process of applying to medical school and different facets, but I've not really made a concise video explaining exactly my stats that I use to get into medical school this time around. So this is going to be the video for that. So you'll literally be able to find more in-depth videos on my GCSEs, my A-levels, uh, work experience, my UCAT, and the interview content is still to come, but for now, we'll leave that. So we're gonna start with GCSEs. Uh, I finished high school with 10 GCSEs. I got a nine in all the sciences a nine in French and a nine in English literature. And then I got two eights in geography and in PE. And then I got a seven in maths and a six in English language. And finally a merit in DT. Onto my A-levels, I studied chemistry, biology and psychology. And I got the grades A star AA. Now with my UCAT, on my second attempt, I managed to score 2,480. I did not take the BMAT because I felt with this score, I had enough options, even if they were all um, UCAT universities. Another reason I didn't take the BMAT is because I didn't really like the look of the other BMAT universities apart from Leeds. And I thought that was a lot of stress to put myself through just for one university when I was happy with the other options I had for the UCAT work experience now. For work experience, I had four months volunteering at a local care home. I volunteered for three weeks at my local high school as a science and maths teaching assistant. I also shadowed a GP. And then work-wise, I worked in a care home for about 160 hours. I also worked as a COVID tester for about 40 hours, something around that. And I managed to get all this work experience within the space of six months and it got me an interview at a medical school which really values work experience. So if you're thinking of applying to medicine, don't feel like you have to have had work experience for a massive amount of time. Although it helps, you can definitely get by without having a massive two years long volunteering period. You can make it happen, just get your mind to it and try your best. After all that, I applied to Kent and Medway Medical School, um, Queen's University Belfast, Sunderland and Cardiff. Out of those four, I got an interview from the first three and a straight rejection from Cardiff. If you have a low UCAT score, I do not recommend you apply to Cardiff. I don't feel like they are honest about the way they select their um, people for interviews because I have really strong GCSEs, really strong A-levels and I was lacking in my UCAT but not to the point where my application should have dropped within their standards and yet this is the second year in a row I didn't get an interview from them so definitely a big question mark on Cardiff. And then out of the three interviews I got two offers, one from Queen's University Belfast and the other from Kent and Medway Medical School. And as you heard from the intro, I chose to study at Kent and Medway Medical School. I've got about a month and a half till I go there now and I'm so excited and I cannot wait. 